Hello everybody and happy Halloween. It's my spider head. Uh, my name is Michelle Hamer. I am the Senior Recreation Coordinator in the Athletics and Recreation Department at Newnham. And uh, today on Fun Fridays, thank you so much for joining me. We are going to be doing pumpkin seeds. So um, super easy, lots of different ways you can do pumpkin seeds. So uh, first thing you need, obviously, to start with is a pumpkin. So I went this morning and got a giant pumpkin, like a giant pumpkin. And I should have known when it was lighter than it looked that it wasn't going to be filled with seeds. But um, it's going to be great because we're going to carve it later and put it out. But um, the first thing we do always is we open up the top and get the seeds. So I've already taken out a lot of the seeds. Um, it's a, it, that's the messy part of making pumpkin seeds. I don't mind getting my hands messy, but you do have to get your hands. The best way to get them is really just get your hands down into that pumpkin and scoop out the pumpkin seeds. Um, it's, a, it's a little gooey. But anyway, so I, there are still some pumpkin seeds left. They're hanging off the top of the stem. I hope you can see that. Ooey gooey um, deliciousness. So first thing you want to do is soak your pumpkin seeds to get all this orange goop off of them. So I'm just going to take the pumpkin seeds off and I've got a bowl of water sitting here. So I'm just gonna put them in my bowl and I'm gonna soak them. So what I would normally do is soak them for quite a while, um, or you just wash them like, you know, in a strainer or something, but you do wanna get all of those, um, ew, now I just washed my hands. So you do wanna get all of those um, uh, orange bits off. So if I put them in my bowl, I don't know if you can see them, but there's all the little orange bits will sort of float to the top and um, you can, clean them that way. So I'm going to leave this one. I'm not going to use this one for my recipe today because I've already pre-done a lot of the seeds that we're going to use today, but that's what I would do. So get all of those um, seeds. You want to really uh, clean them well. You don't want to have any of that orange, um, like the, the guts of the pumpkin when you're, when you're baking them. So from there, after you've cleaned them super, super well, then you want to lay them out flat on just a baking sheet and um, I lay them out on paper towel because you need to dry them, like super, super, super dry. Then that's the key to good pumpkin seeds is uh, make sure they're really dry. So I just usually lay them out on a baking tray on paper towel, covered in paper towel. And the longer you leave them to dry, the better. So if you can leave them overnight, fabulous. And if it's just a little bit of time, just make sure they're dry. And from there, I'm gonna take my orange bowl. This is my half bowl. And I'm just going to take the pumpkins the pumpkin seeds and I'm just gonna take them um, they're sort of all stuck a little bit to my paper towel but I'm just gonna take them off and put them in my bowl because that's how I'm going to mix them um, with the toppings so the best part about pumpkin seeds is you can really do anything you want the sky's the limit with flavoring so today we're just gonna do a regular roast pumpkin seeds super easy um, the sort of the original recipe so to speak of pumpkin seeds but you can do any anything you want so whoopsies um, pumpkin seeds have gone everywhere now so I'm just gonna get those off I'll finish that later and so I'm just gonna put so once I have pumpkin seeds dried pumpkin seeds in a bowl today I'm just gonna top them with super easy melted butter and salt that's just um, if you just want plain really tasty crunchy roasted pumpkin seed that's what i'm gonna do so i've got my melted butter here i will pour that in and uh, today i'm going to use pink himalayan salt you can use any kind of salt you want it doesn't really matter but that's what i'm going to use today pink himalayan salt so sprinkle a little bit of that in and then i will just mix that all up a little bit and and again this is another key so no, key number one super dry pumpkin seeds key number two everything has to be evenly coated with your whatever mixture you're using so that you make sure that everything has that same flavor. So once you've got everything evenly coated, I'm gonna take my baking tray again that I have. I'm just gonna put, line it with some parchment paper and then I'm gonna spread out my pumpkin seeds on there. And again, I hope you can see, but the key here is to really make sure that they're, that they're spread out evenly so that everything gets baked um, nice and evenly. And then once that's all spread out, all I'm going to do is I'm gonna put that in my oven, usually around 325 will be uh, more than enough, and bake that for about 25 to 30 minutes or so. Probably every 10 minutes or so, I just take a spoon in there and I just stir it up right in the oven just to make sure that all the sides are evenly 
um, baking well. And then I'm going to get the most delicious roasted pumpkin seeds. So when they come out, they're going to crisp up, let them cool down a little bit, crisp up, delicious. You can make any kind of pumpkin seed you want. Um, so I made another flavor. These ones are actually really, really tasty. These ones are um, cinnamon sugar. So I just, I just put a little bit of oil, um, olive oil, and then I sprinkled brown sugar and cinnamon. Number one, they smell fabulous. And number two, they taste delicious. The sky's the limit. Use whatever kind of topping or spices or flavor, whatever you feel like. Um, and you can make delicious pumpkin seeds. Tis the season, so I hope you all go out and get your pumpkins. They're super, super cheap. You can get them outside most grocery stores. They have giant bins. This one was $2, $1.98 even, $2. Um, so uh, this is a great opportunity to make pumpkin seeds, and then we're gonna go out and carve that pumpkin later, um, put it out on our porch. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope everyone has a very safe and happy Halloween with whatever you're doing. Same to you. And um, I hope uh, everyone has a nice weekend. Get outside before the snow comes. And uh, have a good Friday. So be safe, be healthy. Happy Halloween.